Hello everyone, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Mighty Gun- Mighty Gun Volt. Wait, what? But, we finished Mighty Gun Volt. Why are we back here? Mm. DLC, you say? Very well. For anyone who's been following Mighty Gunvolt or Zero Striker Gunvolt, you would probably know by this point that Mighty Gunvolt has actually now been released as a standalone game on the Nintendo eShop, at least in the US and Japanese regions. I know Europe is still waiting on it, so I hope you guys get it very soon. The standalone version is about mm, $3, and additionally, there is DLC that has been released for the game that's also about that same price. The DLC contains four new stages with four new bosses. And considering we have files for every single character, what we're gonna do is we're going to tackle all four stages per episode with the different characters. So, let's start off with whatever file this file one. I think it's the gun vault file, I didn't keep track, so we're gonna find out. Using this file. So the DLC, basically it works, it's just kind of over here. It's not part of the main game, and you have the access to do it whenever you can do them in any order you want. We'll go in the order that it has set. Makes me a little nervous because that biolab stage is kind of a pain, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. First off, let's go to the factory. Factory. It uses uh, 8 bit music of the um, Daytona slash. Uh, well, his, his not Japanese name. His, Dap his name is Viper. There we go. Viper's. Uh, stage theme. Kind of based on it as well. The boss here though is not from uh, Gunvolt or from uh, uh, the that one game. Galgun. That's it. That, uh, you know, I had a very awkward time with that game. The boss here is actually from My Number 9. I believe the boss will fight here is My Number 1, who is basically kind of like, he's a fire guy. He's a fire robot dude. The DL stage, DLC stages, I feel, are a little longer than the main stages. I might just be overthinking that. I haven't played them that much yet. I've only played it, I've played through all of them at least once. Ow. They seem to have a lot more interesting mechanics within them. Kind of just a little bit more difficult stuff to deal with. Wait, I hit you that one time. Fine, there we go. And I can't actually get there. Never mind. But overall, there is fun kind of additional things. It kind of makes the game a bit longer than it already was, and it does uh, round it out then to actually have eight stages, just like a normal Mega Man game would, so that's cool. Again, we need uh, back to, to get that. Whatever, it's fine. We don't, we don't need to go there right now. As far as, like, everything else, like, the uh, there is an update in general that makes it the game similar to the uh, standalone version that's being released now on the eShop, since you can no longer get the free promotion through a Zero Striker since that's passed by this point. Um, some of it, like, apparently this this goes faster. Well, there's a thing here. Can I destroy everything? No, okay, well. Apparently his lightning goes faster. I don't really see the difference. I'm glad they made that change because that was a major gripe I had about the original uh, version of this game. But it still seems kind of lackluster compared to just using the normal buster. I could be lackluster and buster. I, s I could make some rhymes or something. I don't know. I don't think Lava's in some death, but I'm not gonna find out. I'd rather just play the stage. I mean, what? Wait, what is even going on here? How is the lava's, like, trapped in the building? It's trapped in the blocks. That's just, that's just bizarre. Whatevs. Gunvolt obviously has his double jump ability, which is really useful. Uh, I want to get over there. Ow! Okay, well, lava's not instant death. It is just, um, it's ow. <laughs> and you can apparently get out of it. It seemed like there was a pit in there, but it also felt like quicks quicksand, so I'm not entirely sure. Gunvolt might have just gotten lucky because he has that double jump. See, so yeah, overall, I feel like these stages are a little longer and a bit harder than the main uh, four stages you had to begin with. But, that said, we're at the boss. So this is my number one being based on a game that's not been released yet. His attack pattern is not something someone's people should probably be familiar with yet, but it might give a hint as to how he will uh, act in his future game. And we're just gonna die, because I don't really care. Okay. 
now that we have full health, because I went in there with a lot of bad health since I just kept saying, Hello, Lava. Hello. Double jump is so useful. I'm assuming... Uh, I'm not sure how you do this back. That's going to be interesting when we get to that juncture. We have other things to worry about, like the next stage. I'm not looking forward to that stage. Ow. And you also have the stupid flame pillars like Viper did, which I'm not a big fan of. Okay. That does a lot of damage, but it just leaves you like a sitting duck. I really hate that. Like, it's so much better in a Zero Striker. I wish they would have just made a DLC for a Zero Striker. <laughs> in some regards, yeah, this is probably a lot simpler to make, and it's really cheap, so whatever. But still, a Zero Striker's gameplay was great. I would have preferred more of that than this. Maybe I'm just saying that because I suck. Possibly. Possibly. All right. Okay. Yeah. What? You screw me up when you jump like that. Stop doing that. Okay. So it's... No. All right. Yeah. I don't. Stop doing that. I'm gonna be really angry by the end of this. I'm sure. It does feel a lot more like a hard Mega Man game in that regard, which is which is great. But it's really it's really awkward because the original the original four stages felt really simple, and these ones like having that spike in difficulty or at least spike in boss patterns being really dumb. It feels kind of off. Not that it's a bad thing, it just feels really bizarre if you're used to the how the first four stages went. Okay. I would I hate, like, how... Just a game, and I'm just stupid. So that's, we'll just, we'll just go with that. I'm just stupid. Okay, so when he does that stupid rar, that means he's gonna jump. Got it. Okay, well then I'm just gonna ignore you. There we go. I figured it out. I am smart. Okay, yep, jump. Okay, well now you're gonna do that. So that's that's a different thing entirely. Okay, well that is a very different pattern this time, but apparently I can just get rid of them, so that's fine. In fact, I'm just gonna plow on you now, because screw you. Goodbye. Goodbye, my number one, and you became like this thing. I don't know what that is, but you became it. And we teleport out. I think that's new too, is they added animations in for you uh leaving and entering the stages. Okay then, Biolab is next! Not looking forward to this. It is based on Elise's stage from a Zero Striker Gun Vault. It's not that bad of a stage, but when we get to Elise, you'll see the problem I have with it. And by problem, I mean lack of skill. Because I will not deny I have I am very good at this game. I will I will just say outright I probably suck at this game. <laughs> but it's it's all in good fun and um, I don't like they brought back this thing. Like there's a lot of mechanics they brought back that was like oh yeah that's cool like in Gunvolt when you could tag multiple things. I wish you could just do like you could in Gunvolt, but whatever or a Zero Striker I guess. It's weird they're both technically Gunvolt, so I can't really say like in Gunvolt because they're both Gunvolt. They have the zombie people. They're nice. You got this nice 8-bit rendition of uh, her stage theme. Pretty nice stuff. Kind of actually like it. Like, all these 8-bit renditions are really, really good. Um, okay, well, I would like you to not be up there, but I will just ignore you then if you're not gonna go away. <laughs> Don't like the zombies because you can't, they, your shots go over them, you could stand and do that, but that takes a while. Beck might have better luck since he has that dash attack. But we'll get to him in a few weeks. And by few weeks, I mean two weeks. Unless I pick the wrong file for the next episode, in which case Beck will be next week! Hooray for Beck! Alright, so I'm not gonna mess with, oh wait, okay. So, yeah, I'm not really sure what they want you to do here. I think I have an idea, but last time I did this, I just had to take hits. See, I think you can do that. There we go. Not sure how you're supposed to do with the other characters, 
but it works. Obviously, Buck can go down there. And you'll come out here, and you can continue going this way to kind of nothing. I guess there's... It's a, oh, yeah, it's like this huge branching pathway. It leads to an apple. Kind of not worth it, but neat all nevertheless. I'll take this watermelon, though. Watermelon's pretty tasty. Let's see. Can I do this? I think yeah, this is only something Ekro can get, because... Yeah, you have to be suspended in the air to go back and get all that stuff. Anyways, I think this is the end of the stage. Yep. So, Elise was probably the hardest boss in Azura Striker. That has not changed. I am going to be completely honest. I haven't beaten this boss yet. I don't like this boss. Just these stupid snakes. They just throw these things at you. And they're just annoying in general. Dang it. You have to jump over them. So, the like, those kunai they're throwing, if you if you shoot them... There's a way to dodge that. I forgot how, how it goes. If you get hit by the kunai or you shoot them, the snake that would appear on the uh, ground doesn't show up. So it's worth it to shoot all of them. The problem is they're coming from two different directions and I'm just not good at multitasking. So, we will blame this on my incompetence. And that's all I'll say about this. Other than I just, I really hate this boss. Yeah, I'm sure if you were Beck, you could uh, uh, slide under there, but I am not. Okay. Oh, come on, really? I freaking hate Elise. I hate Elise so much. She is apparently one of the most popular characters, according to fan polls of, uh... Dang it. Of, uh, Gun Vault. At least, like, art character fan polls, and I'm just like, yeah, I guess she looks cute, but do you know how obnoxious of a boss she is? Screw that, I don't want to see Elise. Oh yeah, the snakes will also die if they just run into a wall. So you can do that, but... That's not gonna work out this time. Alright, two more tries. Hi, Elise. And obviously, I could do the uh, Azure uh, Thunder, but that leaves the problem again. You are a sitting duck when you do that, and I really, really dislike that mechanic about uh, Gunvolt's gameplay in this game. Stupid snake caught me and I couldn't jump! Hate this. Hate, hate, hate Elise! Okay. That's better, but then the snake caught me anyway. Elise, I really want you to literally go to hell. <laughs> like, you kind of elude you want to go there, so why not go there? That would be that would be helpful, and uh, no one will be upset about anything anymore. They'll just be, like, happy, and I'll be dead. I'll go there first, I'll get you a house there, and then I will send you an all-expense-paid vacation to there, and then you can have fun there! being in hell, and I will be happy, even though I'm kind of there too. Actually, that's a bad idea. Okay. Can we just stop this stupidness of your stupid snakes? Like, that is what makes this boss fight in so freaking insufferable, is I have to deal with these dumb snakes that keep coming to me, and I can't do jack squat about it. And then you dashed anyway. Screw you. I hate... I hate Elise. Elise is a terrible, terrible human being. Who may not even be human at this point, for all we know. I don't care. Elise sucks. I hate Elise. You like Elise? I don't care. Elise sucks. And that's it. Game over. Yay. We'll go fight at least with other characters sometime else. I mean, you saw what she is. I don't have to deal with that again. I have to play the stage again. We're just gonna move onwards. I know, kind of a huge cop out, but yeah, I just kind of want to get over. I I apologize. I get really frustrated when fighting her in any format. So I would just like to not have to deal with her. So new stage here. This is the highway stage. This stage um, is 
based on, I believe, the actual stage that will be in Mighty uh, Number no. 9 when it's released. It's a really odd stage, and that wheel is being a jerk. Also, oh, okay, I was like, can I just be on the road? Because that seems dangerous, because everything's moving. Personally, my favorite stage of the DLC, because it has that awesome music from Eridu uh, playing as the 8-bit uh, theme here. I love that music. I forgot what the actual track's called. Um, please add it in what the actual name of this track is called when uh, editing this video future me. Just because, you like, I really, really enjoy this track. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, it's it's a pretty simple stage, in all honesty, just jumping from cars. It's a really cool one. It's cool to look at visually. I like the sunset in the background. I'm not really sure what these ca like are. These cars on like hover thingy majiggies because that's what they look like. They're on hover thingy majiggies. The one thing that's annoying about the stage is there's that signpost guy that kind of shows up every now and then, and he like shows up in the middle of the jump, just like hi. And I'm like, I don't want you to be there because you're in the way. Okay, where's si signpost guy isn't showing up right now. Hello. Yeah, I just I really like this music and oh. There's a there's health there, but I can't get it. I'll take a melt. Oh, I, can, I guess I can touch it barely. Yeah, there's signpost guy. He just walked right by. Or flew right by, I guess. And that's the end of the stage. It's a pretty simple stage, but it's a really fun one. Oh, hi! Whoa, we just, like, we just started. I apologize, my number seven. I was not ready for your ninja skills. I actually kind of think he's a pretty simple boss. I'm going to probably get killed by him for saying that, but I think he's a pretty easy to figure out boss. Yep, I'm going to get killed by him for saying that. Well, I know how to do this boss, and I don't care. It'll be fine. No, okay. Ow. I do like that attack where he swirls around. That's kind of cool looking. Don't like that tornado attack, though. I don't also like that those double kicks, because sometimes he'll do one, but sometimes he'll do two. It's kind of hard to tell if he's going to do both. I'm not really sure what determines that. And I'm going to get killed by him, probably? Yeah. But it's okay. I have lives. And I have more health this time, and I'm more ready, because it was just like, Hey! And then I was like, oh, bye! You just kind of come at me. That's kind of the thing he does. He has the element of surprise, I guess. I'm assuming all of the mighty numbers are male. I'm that might be incorrect, so I apologize if this is technically a female and I wasn't saying that properly, or a by gender like Zonda. You never know. Okay, my number seven. You can stop it now. Stop this foolishness. Cease this foolishness. Which kind of foolishness would you like to see? Uh, oh, butts. Okay, yeah, you're kind of angry at me because I was like, yeah, you're a simple boss. Yeah. Simple to figure out. You can pretty much figure out his attack patterns by this point. It's just I'm dumb. Yep. Uh. It's okay. Got this. We got this. The sunset is eternal. It's a great sunset. Yeah, it seems like he starts a lot sooner than the other bosses do. Yeah, I guess he doesn't have, like, any intro animation, is what the deal is. It does the little music and then he just starts. The other ones, like, you have to make the flame pillars, you have to make the other Elise appear, you have to do the Zonda explosion thing. Okay. Can I just be away from you? Yes. I want to get away from you. Please leave me alone. It would be most appreciated if you left me alone, and I would just be happy about that forever. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine, too. Okay. Thank- no, 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 thank you, actually. Wow. Um, we'll just go with, like, how the Elise fight went, and how this is going. I just suck, and we'll just leave it at that. I just suck. I'm okay with admitting that I suck. It's- this is showing off the DLC, it doesn't mean you have to actually beat it. Right? I'm gonna go if that's not mean I actually be have to beat it. Alright. Oh, you cornered me. You stupid- I- you stupid bosses that corner you. At least you don't have stupid snakes. I'm okay- I'm okay with you in that regard. You don't have stupid snakes. And that kick is so hard to figure out what he's gonna- what he's gonna do with that stupid kick. Alright. No, thank you. 
Oh, come on. Please, please stop. Please stop. Okay, well, whatever. You saw him, I don't care. You saw him, we're done. We have one more stage to go with. Maybe we'll beat all the other stages with other characters, but this is I'm just showing off the DLC at this point. Maybe I'll do a final montage where I actually beat the bosses, but I don't really care. We're gonna go through this gem now. The school in Galgon is a weird place. And my number seven, I at least know how his attack pattern works, so it's not like me getting upset about Elise being really cheap. That was just me being crappy. Let's see if this crappiness trend continues into the love zone. So what even happens in Galgun? I, okay, I know what happened in Galgun. I don't really want to play Galgun, but... Apparently, you get stuff attacking the gym now. Like, what the heck? Trippy stuff is trippy. Don't throw bombs in school, it's not nice. And this stage, I believe, is also kind of short. I mean, the stages are still fairly short. I think it's just like, if you have to do timed platforming, the stages feel a bit longer. But uh, they are a bit shorter, and they do feel just a slight smidgen harder, but that's about it. Nothing too major. Just a barrel of sucking. Thanks to me. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, the ninja samurai dudes. They're like, okay, wait. I'm number one. I'm number one! Wait, no. I lost once. I lost twice. I'm number three. I'm number three. I suck. Anywho's. What, what is... What is... Okay. I don't think that's how you're supposed to play bowling, because those were... Those looked like bowling balls coming out. Um, I'm pretty sure you could use that for, like, jug ball or something, even though I, I hate jug ball, but... You could use them. But you probably shouldn't put bowling balls in there. That sounds kind of dangerous. Like, that hit me in the face really hard dangerous. Ow! No, the delayed reaction. Ow. Okay, not delayed reaction there. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna die to the stage, apparently. That's how badly I have come from not practicing playing this game enough. It's okay. We'll make it to the end and fight the whatever thing is here. Does this work? It's, it's just barely there. Ah, let's see. Can we make this work? There we go. Wait. There we go. Finally use that ability. It has such limited use. Anywho, here's the boss of this stage. It's a bit pouring. It's it's a pouring. I am sure it has an official name, but if you know what Ragnarok Online is, and you've seen these before, you know this looks like a pouring. So there you go. I'm not sure what the heck Galgun even is at this point. We fight a squid tentacle monster in the other Galgun stage, now we fight a pouring. I don't understand anything about anything Inti creates, what the heck was going on between 2010 and 2000 now. Yes, 2010 and 2000 now. That is a good way to phrase it. This is a pretty easy boss. The minute I say that, they start swarming on me because I said it's an easy boss. I should learn myself from my number seven to fight to not say that. Hello. You can shoot, like, you can shoot everything. So, literally, you can always shoot this boss. It's not a problem. And it's dead. We killed the pouring. Good job, boss! Now, if there is, like, some kind of special thing you get for being all the stages, I don't know, because I still haven't beaten Elise. But those are all the DLC stages for Mighty Gunvolt. Of course, that was just playing as Gunvolt, so next week we're gonna go tackle them all on again, but starting with Ekoro. And we'll probably start from the gym stage, just because uh, it makes more sense for her. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button, and if you want to see more content from me, please consider subscribing. Mighty Gunvolt DLC episodes will just be uh, three episodes long, one for each character, and will be done throughout the rest of December, so I hope you all enjoy them. Again, thanks so much for watching, hope you're all having a great day, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, ciao!